place is just extraordinary. Wow. It's a bath built in rocks right next to the ocean. And there's several of these pools here. There's one over there and one over here. Yeah, so that's just two of them. And now comes the security guard to yell at me for filming this. Bon dia. I'm sorry, I don't speak Portuguese. Uh, you don't say here. Huh? Because you don't have a bracelet. You don't pass the area. So I'm not allowed on the rocks. Okay. Yeah. But I am allowed yeah. on the concrete yeah. surface. Yeah, it's a, it's a rules. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But you know, the rules are kind of stupid. I mean, this is just five yeah, meters. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's the rules. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Merci, obrigado. I'll go back to the concrete yeah, yeah. surface. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, was, uh, he was a good sport anyways, you know, enforcing the rules. We must abide by the rules. Right there is where I was standing, very illegal. And here is where I must be. Boom. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, not a yeah. problem. Thank you. Well, now you know it costs money to go into the pool. I thought this was a public bath. That is what I read online. Uh, you know, one of the world's most beautiful public baths, which is obviously the case. <laughs> but yeah, it costs money to go inside. I suppose that's actually a good thing because otherwise this place would be loaded with people. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> I was only there for five minutes. Had a couple of arguments with the big boss at that place because I started to fly my drone. And uh, then the friendly security guard come around again and say, uh, I'm not allowed to film the drone. The situation escalated. Yes, hey, so. Don't film it, okay? You can't film it. And I spoke with the big boss, pretty much said the same thing. I was, I was asking for, is there a law that prohibits me to fly the drone there? Which would be weird because then I know already that the drone wouldn't even take off or it would notify me, which wasn't the case. If it's a private place, of course I can respect them saying I'm not allowed to fly the drone there for whatever reason. The reason, by the way, is for privacy which I don't think too many cares about these days anyways. You know, when you're flying 100 meters up in the air with a drone, there's not so many people you can identify. Privacy, it's a lame excuse. What it all boils down to is that people in an authoritative position, they like to misuse that position and limit the freedoms of other people just because you can have fun but only to a certain extent. Your fun and your freedoms must always be capped. Long story short, I told him I'm going to walk up on the street and I'm going to take off with my drone and fly it over the ocean and film this pool. And then he said, oh, then I'm going to call the sea police. <laughs> yeah, okay. The sea police. <laughs> As you know already now, because you saw the drone shots, that's exactly what happened, except the no sea police showed up. I guess they don't go into land, they just stay at the sea, right? <laughs> that's, that's what the sea police do. I said in my last video that I haven't seen anything beautiful in Portugal, and that was of course true then, but we're actually walking through a neighborhood now, which is really nice. Look at this. All the buildings here are super nice with lots of parking and uh, small parks. And for example, right across the street from here, there's a small park. So I'm very happy to see that. For a moment there, I was uh, feeling like uh, I have wandered too far away from civilization, so to speak. <laughs> but gosh, there are some lovely parkings in this neighborhood where I can pretty much have something like this as my garden. I'm still parked by the church. It's within a walking distance from here. It was a really good spot, but I need to change location. This is actually one of the, one of the places I'm thinking about, right here. Then I would have a super nice garden there. We will see where I will end up tonight. Now, there are two more things 
that I want to do today, as you shall find out. There's a castle over there. There's a beach over there. And this is probably the best outdoor gym I have ever seen. But this isn't why I came here. Right there is sea life. That's why I'm here. We are going to go and find me a new teddy bear for my windshield and maybe an ice cream. I would like one ticket a with one, a, premium one. a child discount. <laughs> you wish. I am a child. Hey, are you a child? <laughs> Let me see your ID. Well, I can act like a child. You want me to act like a child? No, no. no. Do you want our guidebook for two euros and three No, I'm just going to walk through this, you know, five okay. minutes tops. No, Where do you come from? Sweden. Sweden. Have a great visit, enjoy. So there's stairs in there yeah. that goes up and then I come down here yeah. and you have a gift shop. Yeah. And ice cream. Yeah. And you can uh, buy ice cream as well on the outside part. We are the penguins. How can the penguins deal with this heat? Because they are not from ice. They are not ice penguins. No. They are sun-loving penguins. Most of the penguins are not from ice. Are not from ice? Yeah. These ones are from the South um, America. Okay. So that's why we keep them here in Portugal. The, the temperatures are similar with them. The, Jesus. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. And they are very cute. You're going to Cool. Enjoy. Can I pet them? No. No? Even us, we don't pet them. No? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> I can't see your smile though. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you want yeah. to see? <laughs> <laughs> you come in and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this? Sorry, you say what? Uh, starfish? Yeah. This is cool. They had to cheap out, cutting down on the budget. <laughs> they replaced the fish with, uh, I don't know what this is, plastic fish. Weird African penguins, here we come. Weird. But there's something that is much more important than the penguins right now. Ice cream. I had me two ice creams. One Ben and Jerry's Peace Pop and one Feast Original. <laughs> On a keto diet, you are allowed to have up to 50 grams of carbohydrates uh, per day. This has, yeah, I'm below 50 carbs on these two. Mm. This one was really good. Do you have to stand up all day? You can sit in there, okay, cool. Mm, that was good ice cream. And these are the weird penguins. Let's see if we can zoom in with the camera a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe it. I had no idea that there are a special kind of penguins that actually like this weather. Wow. I thought penguins were something you could only find in really extremely cold weather. Weird. A little bit tight in here. Question. Do I fit inside this egg? <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> lots of space in here. I thought this was a small egg. It's a big egg. It's a dinosaur egg. Secret view here. Let's go. I have to hunch. It's so small here. Oh, this is a real palm tree. Cool. 
It's a real palm tree inside an aquarium. Wow. Hurricane simulator. I would really want to go in here, but it costs money, some kind of coins. But I have as a principle, I don't pay if I've already paid to get in. See what I'm saying? That was the aquarium. Dude, can uh, I try to get a child's discount when I came in here? She wouldn't let me have a child's discount. Uh, that's not with me. You need to talk to colleagues in blue, sorry. Hello. May I try the uh, hurricane simulator free of charge? Because you're Two so seconds. kind. I can yeah. Only, I have to ask my supervisor and please don't kill me. Okay. It's a no from my supervisor. It costs two euros. Okay. Uh, did he say why no? Because he, he just didn't feel like it. We uh, take charge to the customers and it's the rule for everyone. Yeah, like they rule, they rule. Yeah. I hate rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, super. Obrigado. Really nice, soft music here. Ah, here we go. Turtle. A very orangey fish. Blue fish. This one is cute. A little tiny red octopus. I have a big one in the car already. This complements the collection. They have a really lovely outdoor seating area here. If you really, really love car traffic, you have to come here and enjoy a cup of coffee while looking at some noisy cars. Way down here, it took me about 12, 15 minutes. One euro per minute, <laughs> something like that. This right here is a very big public park that has received raving reviews. It's right next to Sea Life, where we were, hence why I came here in the first place, because there's loads of parking over there. In fact, I'm already parked in my own little sweet corner over here. I was originally planning on staying right here for, you know, a night or two and uh, show you the park. But number one, it's very lively, lots of people here. Number two, it's a parking lot, so no, not the most exciting place to be. Number three, I am getting a little bit tired. I've been up and running all day today. So now we go and look for a new location that I can call home for a couple of nights. This is an Outlook post, a really, really tiny Outlook post in the middle of Porto. We're basically as close to the city center as you can get. There's a short, short walk and the city center is right there. I mean, this is the view I would have had. And there's only one car here, which I believe is people living in that house over there. But otherwise, I would expect this place to be completely dead and silent. No dogs and no weird people. It's just one little tiny problem. There's a big cliff here and below it is a bunch of lemon trees. If my cat falls down here, I'm not so sure I could be able to retrieve him again. Ah, that's so sad. I really wanted to stay here. Fuck. You see way over there? That's also parking available for vans. I think I might go there. There is good parking here. Lots of other vans in the area too, with cool people hanging out. Look at this. I have an amazing view. An absolutely amazing view. With a big, big beach over there. As far as this area goes, it's well maintained, but there's some risk over here for ticks. So I don't really like that. I'm going to sit right here and enjoy a Friday pizza. I'll catch you in the next video. Gosh. I don't know how much more I can handle. Today has been a very stressful day. A very stressful day. Okay. For starters, I haven't seen one single dog here. Not one single dog, not even on a leash. 
So that's a very good thing. Bajski, come hit my day. So far, he has kind of stayed in a close perimeter here, so he doesn't wander off too far away into the grass. He's kind of just hanging around here, meaning I haven't found any ticks on him, so that's good too. But, I look out the window and I see this guy chewing on something. Look at this. It's a fucking mouse. He was chewing on this thing. Oh, there's even some blood splatter on the grass. Now I'm not going to be able to snuggle with my cat for several days. <laughs> I have, look, I have a real problem with... Um... <laughs> Fuck. Okay, this was a little bit of a bonus material. Good night. Ciao.